doing a quick demo of the M Beauty Lash Primer in Mascara. So this is one of my favorite clean beauty mascaras currently. Um, and I'm wearing it today specifically because I have really bad allergies this morning. The entire time that I was doing my makeup, my eyes were watering and you'll probably see them still water in this video. I'm not really going to edit. So whatever happens, happens. Um, this primer and mascara combo is literally the best. Um, so it has jojoba esters, uh, which I read on their website. That's supposed to be conditioning for your lashes and nourishing. Um, I did do a look at the ingredients and I didn't see anything too crazy. I'm not a chemist, but just from what I could see, um, it looked like the ingredients were pretty great. Um, the instructions do say to put the lash primer on so you can see my lashes are now white. Um, so I'm letting the primer sit uh, for about 30 seconds, which is what it says on the website. And then after 30 seconds, you open up the other side and you use the actual mascara. So um, the primer is lengthening and it's there to just make sure that the mascara stays on throughout the day. Uh, and I have found that it really does help. Normally, I have an issue with getting uh, mascara under my eyes throughout the day. Like, I'll have mascara down here. So you can see that my eyes are literally watering. But that's okay. We're just going to fix it up really quick. And I know that this mascara will be totally fine, even though I'm having this issue with my allergies because of the primer. I really think that's the key to this stuff. Um, the one thing I will say is that it uh, contains beeswax. So if that's an issue for you, it is cruelty free um, and clean, but uh, it does contain beeswax. So I believe that means it's not considered to be vegan. But you can see if you're just, I mean, look at that. The lengthening of this is insane. Um, like I said in my previous video, I do have longer lashes, but I mean, this is crazy lengthening. My eyelashes are definitely not like this long. You can see the difference here between that side and then this side. I mean, you guys, that looks like crazy. That looks like fake lash and that's just one coat. Um, I will go ahead and do a second coat just because, hey, why not, right? Um, and the second coat does go on easily as long as you don't let it dry down before. So you don't want to let it completely dry down because then it gets a little bit crusty. Um, but yeah, this, I have just been loving this stuff. I love Honest Beauty. Um, hoping to continue to try more of their stuff and be impressed by it. But, um, yeah, so it's $16.99 on their website. Uh, I believe all their products are made without like, um, parabens and, um, silicones and, there's a list on the website of all the stuff that, uh, all the ingredients that you won't find in their products. Um, and so I know that, that they do strive to be, um, clean, which is, you know, what I prefer, especially in a mascara. Uh, you can find a lot of weird, funky stuff in mascara. It's just because, I mean, you're, it has to be dark. You're putting like dark black stuff on your eyelashes that crusts up and stays on your eyelashes. So you can imagine there's sometimes I'm really like weirded out by the ingredients. Um, but yeah, so I mean, the difference here guys is crazy. I just wanted to quickly show you not take up too much of your time, but just check out that before and after. Look at that. So yeah, like I said, please excuse the fact that I have these giant bags under my eyes. I know it's distracting, but it's just my allergies. Um, but there you go. I have nothing else. No, um, 
eyeliner, no eyeshadow. So if you were looking for a clean mascara, it is $16.99, which is a little bit higher on the price point scale for like, as opposed to like drugstore, but it's also cheaper than some of the other brands that you would find at like Sephora. Um, I really think this is worth giving a try. I do really like it. But um, if you have any questions, please go ahead and leave your questions below. I would be happy to answer. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.